Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant Saturday morning to you. Um, I wish you God's highest and best in all of your good and godly endeavors. And I pray that 2023 will be an epic year for you. That whatever healing you need, with, whether it is mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, financial, educational, or sexual, that God will grant you his peace and his healing, his blessings, and certainly his favor. All right, I'm dedicating this video to the misandrist. You know, misogynists are usually dubbed as men hating on women. And we're not talking about so in a sexual sense. We're talking about maybe they just have been hurt by women. And there is this deep-seated anger and unforgiveness and bitterness and hardness of heart towards women. So they will still have sexual attractions, uh, a sexual attraction to women, you know, marry women. But they don't necessarily treat them with using emotional intelligence, softness, soft skills, gentility, and attitudes and attributes that are godly or godlike. But we have misandrist, you know, women who hate men and create problems for them, not necessarily, again, in a sexual sense. But we also have women who I will call them misogynists as well, where they have been such a vitriolic, virulent, rancorous, terrible, awful, evil, Jezebel-like, Delilah spirit in other women's lives. And sometimes I wonder if at some point or other, as women, when you have daughters, does it ever occur to you that the very same horrific and horrid treatment you've done to other women, especially without a cause, that somebody won't eventually do it to your daughters or even your sons? Because the Bible says, you know, the sin because of the rebellious generation, it goes from, from, the, from the third to the fourth generation, so it passes down. So sometimes when people will see a father being a murderer and a child becomes that and a grandchild, they wonder, it is a generational curse passing down because of the level of rebellion. People only think rebellion in the sense of um, the children of Israel rebelling against Moses and the things of God. You have, some of us who are rebellious, we are hard, we are stiff-necked, unwilling to yield and bend and change and make recompense and apologize. When, women, are you going to stop it? When? when, when it, because, because you, sorry, because you cannot outstub on God. You can't change today. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.